one. However, still in place in the metro, and for good reason, till 10 o'clock. Damaging winds and large hail. Those are the, uh, the two major threats. All right, this now, see the bright yellows? Those are actual warnings that's occurring right now. So that means uh, severe thunderstorms are producing hail and or strong uh, damaging winds. This storm is now moving up toward Baltimore. This is the monster storm. It's prompted one of the latest warnings just north of 66. Tremendous amount of lightning, and it kind of extends all the way back just north of Warrington. Uh, this is a pretty big storm. So here are the warnings. So we've got this area here until 845. That includes D.C., Fairfax, parts of Montgomery and Prince George's, and then kind of south and west of that, sort of the same storm. It's a massive storm. It also includes parts of uh, Fairfax, Manassas, Fairfax, and Prince William County. That goes to late 30. Uh, and we're going to watch this storm west of Warrington. That is becoming a little more intense and could become um, severe at this hour. So look at the lightning through Reston. Heavy rain up to 70 now. Heavy rain out River Road, uh, Connecticut Avenue, and also around the uh, bridge, American Legion Bridge. Look at, the, look at the hail. There's no doubt this is hail in Potomac. And that is right at 189 and 90. A crossroads there, Falls Road and River Road. That's that's there's hail headed toward New Bridge and a little bit of hail just to the uh, southwest of Brickyard Road. That's over in River Falls neighborhood. And that is, uh, I think, pretty, pretty significant hail, at least quarter size, we think. I'll zoom back out and we'll track this. So this is headed toward, well, it's already at the American Legion Bridge, headed toward the airport in probably less than 10 minutes, I would think. This storm, this storm track's a bit old uh, and we're looking at, again, heavy rain, Gusty winds and some hail uh, with this uh, storm. So what does Futurecast do with these storms? I, I got to give Futurecast some credit. It's sort of picked up on this second line of storms. So we've got big storm around Manassas. This is 830. Another one over toward Leesburg. Temp still very uh, almost tropical in the 70s. By 10 o'clock, still some showers along I-95, although notice not as many bright colors, which means less intense storms. And then by 1130, still some leftover showers, but temps still in the 70s across the board. I think we may, we may see some fog uh, before all said and done uh, by daybreak tomorrow. All right, let me switch it over now. We're switching to CG13, and Chester's going to drive radar for me. Yes. And uh, what, what do you, if you can put it in the BAM, uh, Melissa, that'd be awesome. And so what do you have? Uh, look at that. That is massive. That is unbelievable. Whoa, that is crazy. Um, can you throw it in the BAM for me, Melissa, or not? I don't know if you... OK, so he's zooming in on the hail right there. That little area of gray is hail moving through Potomac. And it looks like it's moving kind of down a river road with a scope there. And it has a tremendous amount of lightning. So um, if you have an AC on, turn it off. If the power goes on and off and on and off, it will surge and it can blow an AC. I, I speak from experience. So here we are in, in Potomac. And that's where the hail is right now. This is a monster storm. And we'll kind of scope it down, down toward Reston. And also Chantilly, you know, we see some more hail uh, down there. Let's uh, take that off and let me just see all the magenta on this storm because this is insane uh, for us. So hail around McLean, a good section of hail uh, just around 28 south of uh, Reston, um, and just north of Fairfax. This is tremendous hail here. Look at 123. See that? That's some pretty good hail there. And over the bridge. Uh, down MacArthur Boulevard, American Legion Bridge, up from Montgomery Mall. Man, where you see this magenta, you've got hail. And we and all day these storms have had a history of hail. Correct, Chester? Yeah, this is um, this may be worse than the hail that came through earlier. I this think it afternoon. is. This yeah. is just I, unbelievable. I, and look at those lightning strikes. There's just there's got to be just dozens. Yeah, that's a ton of lightning out toward uh, Potomac and on out River Road. And there's the hail in the American Legion Bridge. Again, you're looking for this magenta color to, for it to be the hail. And out 355 as well, out 270. We wouldn't want to be on 270 right now. And so if you're in the path of this, uh, you know, put your car in a garage, carport. If not, put a blanket over it or a tarp. Just try to save it from getting dented because I got to believe this has quarter size hail in it, at least from Chantilly, just south of Reston. So this storm is headed toward Falls Church here, 823, George Mason at about 825, and Burke at about 831. So this is a monster storm. And look at the hail. We often don't see that much here in the metro in terms of a, a surface area of hail. We might see little specks here and there, but that's a tremendous amount, stretching from 29 across 66. Uh, across 29. I mean, that's uh, bull post office, 
Bull Run Post Office Road. Yeah, you've got hail. Hail down 234, hail down toward Wellington, hail in Linton Hall, uh, Sudley Manor, uh, hail, and, if, and tremendous amounts of rain either side of that. And we also think, uh, Chester, I mean, I, what do you think, 50, maybe 60 mile an hour winds with this? Yeah, from what I saw, what I was able to discern just from looking on the radar, it easily uh, 50, 60 mile per hour winds at the leading edge of this. This is just unbelievable. The gust front probably coming in out ahead of it. Right. Uh, and right. I, I can't believe, yeah. you know, we worked over that atmosphere earlier, but it, it did nothing to the instability, apparently. Yeah. And, and oftentimes it will kind of just be kind of weak and these will be not much in terms of intense storms, but this is impressive. And so when you get the hail, you need an updraft. All right. So you get this intense updraft and the stronger the updraft, the bigger the hail. So the hail falls, it circulates, tries to fall to the ground, but the updraft carries it back up. It circulates again, tries to fall. The updraft, if it's strong enough, circulates it again. So the stronger the updraft, more time it circulates, the bigger the hail. When the hail finally falls, cut it in half, you'll see rings. That's how many times it's circulated in the storm. So when I see, you know, something like this, I got to leave some pretty intense updrafts. And when there's updrafts, uh, there's a good amount of wind uh, with the storm. Not so much tornadic, but still be advised, you know, uh, this is still going to produce some, some damaging winds. And that was our main threat really uh, essentially uh, all day, damaging winds and hail. And wow, while we, while we saw some hail earlier today around Manassas Park, this, I think you're right, uh, may be exceeding it. And boy, it's not far from Manassas. No, it's right on top of them. I mean, how often would you get hailed two times in the same day in the metro? That's well, and they had dozens, uh, almost a dozen storm reports over there. Right, uh, yeah. With trees uh, down and hail. Yeah, between Manassas and 66 and out through Clifton and Linton Hall, they had a tremendous amount of, of hail. So this is now moving away from 15, and it's hammering Chantilly right now. Clifton, you got a couple of minutes. Burke, you got a couple of minutes. You know, put your umbrellas down, uh, get the car, the carport, the garage. Uh, Merrifield, you're on the edge of this, but this hail is headed really right toward Tyson's. There's even some hail just north of Tyson's right now. Yeah, look at look, that. It looks like it's right on top of that. the Vienna area. Right. Um, so boy. do me, do me, do me a, a flavor here, uh, if you could. Yes. So take all that off. Just put on hail, hail tracks now, and we can actually kind of see the, some of the size of the hail. Yeah. It, it should be. Okay. Take it's a little lightning. behind, I think. Um, it's a little behind, but we get an idea. So take the lightning off, and we'll query that. And what does that come? Uh, only about an inch. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a little bigger than that, but inch is still significant. I agree. And I mean, there's probably some some huge raindrops with this as well. A lot right. of moisture. It's a, the muggiest day of the year easily so far. Easily, yes. Look at the hail, but hay market all the way to Chantilly to Reston uh, across seven. Uh, that's uh, fairly impressive and also into parts of Montgomery County around Potomac. Um, so anytime we get hail an inch or bigger, quarter size or bigger uh, or larger, and or winds 58 miles per hour higher, we get a severe thunderstorm warning. So one of those two is the criterion for a severe thunderstorm warning. But OK, thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. You can take that off now. Go back to the uh, reflectivity. And this has got to be bigger than that. The hail. Well, uh, can you go back to uh, 13. I'm sorry, Melissa. There you go. This has got to be bigger hail. This is now headed toward the district. And this is now moved kind of down River Road closer to Bethesda uh, headed toward Silver Spring and Northwest. And I, if I may chime in, um, just looking at the velocity, which we're not showing on TV. Um, OK, it's it's estimating we're getting in that 50, 60 mile per hour wind range right in uh, this area. I'm going to see if I can circle it here. This area right right about here. Oh, really? Yeah, this this area uh, across Bethesda and parts of Montgomery County and getting into the D.C. line. So there may be some widespread tree damage as yeah. well. This part of Montgomery County down into Fairfax County, the McLean area, and mm -hmm. then getting into Northwest DC and perhaps even into um, Arlington as well. So take okay. those outdoor activities inside if you know anyone who's outside. Yeah, and you know, if you have time, I mean, of course, be safe. If you have time, you know, bring your, your, your table and chairs in that are, that are small, might be hurled around these winds because 50, 60 mile per hour wind will hurl some things around. And now all the trees are pretty much leafed in. That's going to be some problems with limbs coming down and trees coming down. And we've already seen trees come down earlier with round number one and a lot of power outages with round number one. So look at that. Look at the hail again around River Road back to McLean. Um, OK, so we track this here. So College Park 827 right about now. Georgetown 830 DC. It's on your doorstep right now as well. And Bladensburg about 836. 
uh, with this. And I think the way it's elongated a little bit, I'm a little worried, Chester, about some flooding. Yeah, um, because it this seems could to turn be into a. Uh, I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's an impressive line stretching from up and down 95 to 66, basically. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty, pretty insane considering we've already had one round of severe weather. I mean, you know, so there's more hail right around Manassas. You're a hail magnet today. Oh, uh, Chantilly, just heavy rain. And we're looking at uh, some, I think some gusty winds, too, are, are probably going to blow out of this over toward Burke and Lorton. Uh, headed toward Burke, maybe 835, maybe seven minutes from now. Nats Park, 841. They've already had to take cover once uh, from a storm earlier today. Um, yeah, they'll probably uh, call the game again and uh, at least delay it for a minute and get people underneath the, uh, you know, where it's safe, out of, out of the uh, stands. George Mason, get ready. Burke, get ready. Seven Corners, get ready. Old Town, get ready. Even Mount Vernon uh, should get ready for this uh, as well. Uh, so this is, you know, has hail. We know it has winds. 40, 50, maybe 60 miles per hour. And we have the warnings in effect. So we've got the one pull back out just a hair, Chester. We'll get the warnings in for everybody. I think we have a new one now. We do. That one is this still is, nine o'clock. This, this is new, I believe, down yeah. here. Right. Yeah. So it includes Eclipse Waldorf. And it also has um, a good a good area of DC in it and also Prince George's County in it. And that goes, is that the one till nine? That is till nine. So okay, I'm so going to take care of this on social. Okay, take care of that on social. Your... Okay. Um, so go back to um, CG um, 17 for me. Yeah, that's a brand new warning. That's a brand new warning. Uh, okay. And that one, let's see if I can uh, read the concerns on that one. So that is a massive uh, wind damaging storm, is what's happening here. Right. And so um, look at this the entire metro is touching under the warning. beltway mm -hmm. is under a warning. Everyone. Everyone's under a warning right now, so we're going to see widespread damage with this storm uh, in Northwest D.C., in Silver Spring, in Bethesda, and even into Fairfax. I mean, widespread damage. Look at this. Look at this line. It's crazy from Baltimore, stretching all the way back to I-66 with tremendous amounts of lightning, heavy rain, hail, and damaging winds. So we'll zoom in a little bit. So now we've got uh, this warning now until 845, which includes the district and parts of lower Montgomery County. And then this this is the newer warning, uh, the latest warning we have till nine o'clock. That includes Old Town, Fairfax, Prince George's County, and that's that's going to be that's going to be. If you got a little bit of time to prepare for that, uh, I would probably go ahead and uh, take that kind of uh, seriously in terms of getting stuff inside and protecting. Uh, you know, if you've got an umbrella. If you have an umbrella attached to a table, I, I can also speak to this. If you don't put the umbrella down, it acts like a sail, and I've seen them. I've seen them sail. Um, that's that's all I can tell you. I've seen them sail like like crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go into this just a little bit. So there's more. There's more. Um, there's more uh, hail on this. There's more hail showing up in this storm. This is it, it kind of insane. Uh, you know, back north of D.C., not far East West Highway, back toward Chevy Chase. Uh, we're looking at some uh, some pretty serious uh, hail here. So. We'll zoom in a little bit. There's hail up 396, up 270. We wouldn't be on 270 right now. And lightning to boot. Again, turn your AC off. I would maybe turn your computer off if you could, because uh, I think you're going to be, uh, if we're going to have some storm surges, and even the power goes on and comes back, uh, that is not a good thing if, if your uh, air conditioner is running. And it probably is running um, because uh, we're looking at, you know, it's pretty, like Chester said, it's probably the hottest day so far and the most humid day so far of the, uh, of the year. So there's the, uh, the big storm. And in fact, if we were to kind of zoom out just a little bit here, let's go, look at this. This is crazy. So if we do that and we go tip to tail here, that's a hundred mile line of a storm. That's, um, Pretty, pretty crazy, okay? And it has, again, tremendous amounts of light. The lightning actually has cut down a little bit now, Chester, but it, it's still uh, fairly impressive. Uh, but what stands out here is the heavy rain and also all the hail. So if we were to take this, let's just take this. Let me see if I can show you a, a hail core here. Let's, ah, oh, it went away. Tag on it. Let's see if it shows back up here. Well, while, while you're looking, oh, there you go. Uh, yeah. We, we want to reiterate for those who are just joining us, there's a severe thunderstorm warning for most of the metro, either until 8.45 or 9 o'clock p.m., and that's what we're tracking right now. This is just an impressive line of storms that have just popped up in the last 
30, 45 minutes after the earlier round where we thought we'd get a little bit of a break, but no, Mother Nature just going to town. So take those outdoor activities inside. If you know anyone at the Nats game, tell them they need to get ready to take shelter. They're probably going to go in a rain delay there soon. They have to. They yeah. need to because it's, it's a dangerous situation with the wind and the lightning and even a possible large hail too. Yeah, this is uh, uh, exceedingly dangerous. I mean, it, it, it really is. So there's the line of the storms and it stretches. Well, you go from Baltimore to Manassas is 100 miles, but uh, Silver Spring. And if you look carefully here, you know, you'll see the the uh, the hail. All right. So that's sort of the uh, you know, that's what that that's the hail right there around Silver Spring and also some more hail down to the south here, uh, you know, about to come into the uh, the uh, the district. So the lightning has waned a little bit, which I guess is good news. But this is just insane in terms of the hail uh, for this, because we'll zoom in a little bit here and we're looking at hail right around Westmoreland Hills right now. And notice there's two shades of color in there. That's probably a little bigger than than one inch hail. That could be 1.5 inches in diameter. So this is all drifting essentially to the east. And I think we can see some more hail Yeah, out 650. That's New Hampshire Avenue. So once you get past the Beltway north headed out toward White Oak, uh, you've got hail again. And this is pretty impressive. I mean, it, that, really uh, is. that is and yeah, that is unbelievable. I'm almost I'm Florida as how severe these storms have become. Yeah, um, I'm, well, I'm Florida. It's round two, and they're that severe. They're worse yeah. than the first round, and the amount of hail that they have. Um, so, so there's your there's your two cores of hail there. So heavy rain still in Wheaton, out 355. Uh, here's a, here's the other core of hail right here around Westmoreland Hills. Uh, heavy rain in Tyson's. Again, the lightning has has lessened a little bit. Just heavy rain out toward Fairfax and George Mason and also toward uh, Center Heights and Sudley. Little bit of hail showing up in, in our hail magnet today. Uh, Manassas uh, has a little bit of hail right now. So Burke, you have light to moderate rain, but you're about, I mean, about to get hammered uh, in terms of this storm. But heavy rain through uh, Dixie Hill and also through the Government Center Parkway in Fairfax and up through Oakton and also up toward Idlewood and Falls Church. Now you're about to get some some big time rain. So going out Route 7 is a mess. Going up 60, going out 66 is a mess. Going up to 70 is a mess, and going uh, 50 is a mess uh, as well. You know, if we we widen this back out, you know, we're looking at just how massive this is. This is just, um, you know, we talked about Paul storms today, uh, Chester, and we spoke this morning, and, and then we're like, well, they might they might form a line, and well, here they are. And here, Here's the line, ladies and gentlemen. That is an impressive line of storms uh, from Columbia through Laurel. Rockville, you're about to improve here, but boy, south of Rockville, just south of the spur, as you come into Bethesda, Chevy Chase, Northwest DC, it's, uh, it's very, very intense uh, right now. Now, I guess the good news is behind it, there's nothing, and they have canceled the watch along and west of I-81, so that's some improvement there. But this is just... Um, I'll zoom in again. So here, well, let's go back to the, here are the warnings. So we got one warning here, and that goes until 845. And then we have another warning down here, uh, which goes until uh, 9, 9 o'clock. And that's, mm -hmm. the, that's the, uh, the most recent warning. And I got I to believe that they're going to extend this once it gets into this area. So Waldorf, you're, get ready. It, it's heading your way. Even Dunkirk, Bo, Bowie, get ready. It's, it's coming. Uh, and it's moving off to the east. At about 45, well, Chester, I must say, it's not moving quite as fast as I thought. Um, we think they're moving at 40. It may not be quite uh, 40 miles an hour. It may not quite be 40. Let's go back down to Manassas again. Uh, you poor folks. Yes. Um, Look at that. Look at that hail. Just getting hit really hail down hard there. right now. Yeah. Lightning, yes. Um, but the lightning ha has waned a little bit. And in some instances, that can actually be a sign that the storm is weakening a little bit. Don't really see this weakening, especially with it, with this hail here. So there's the uh, there's McLean. OK, there's Silver Spring College Park and there's the, the biggest core of hail now seems to be outside outside of 95, kind of in between uh, US one and 90 and 95 north uh, up toward Laurel uh, College Park. Still some heavy rain and again, Bowie, get ready. Odin to get ready. I mean, it's coming your way. No doubt about that. Uh, we're looking at Lighter rain now in Olney. The storm is pretty much past you. 
Laytonsville, Etchison, you're fine. Gaithersburg, you're fine. You just have a light rain back to the west, even across the river out towards Sterling. Leesburg, you're pretty much done with the rain. Uh, Potomac, you're done with the heavy rain. But this is still um, quite, a, quite a storm. I mean, that is just quite a storm. Out Bethesda's getting hit hard now. Western, if you look carefully here, okay, right around Nebraska, Nebraska Avenue, Davenport Street, Northwest, Southwest, yeah, Northwest, boom. A little bit of hail possible. So we know it has high winds, and it probably has some hail here and there. But Chevy Chase, out toward Bradley, 190, Western Avenue, Reno. I mean, it's all heavy rain. Wisconsin Avenue, uh, inside and outside the, uh, the district, is, is getting hammered. Uh, you know, we'll zoom back out here. It's just a massive line. Uh, Topper, we might have, I don't know if, Melissa, we still have that video of our outside camera. Uh, if we could, it's not as intense earlier. Okay. If oh, you, you do? Just, what yeah, did you, what did see you what have? the downpours look like here. This is, so we're in Northwest, in Tenleytown. You can see we've got downpours here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then if you get a second uh, over to CG13, this one coming in from Evan Kozlov, one of our reporters here. And that was the view from his place just a few minutes ago. Wow. And apparently he's had some uh, some minor damage, if you will, at his place. He, he lost a statue that's on his patio, apparently. So. Ah. Uh, but yeah, that's just um, that's an impressive view of the storm there. Just unbelievable stuff. Yeah, that's uh, you know well, that's what you mean. We we say bring stuff in that can blow around. Statues, trees. I mean statues, chairs, uh, umbrellas, that 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 sort of thing. So these are the warnings, and the latest one we have is the nine o'clock uh, expires nine o'clock Charles uh, County City of Old Town City of Alexandria and Fairfax and Prince George's. We'll see if they extend this, but right now it's not exactly moving super, super fast uh, at this hour. Uh, if I may interrupt, it Please. looks like the Nationals are going to rain de delay. Okay. They just tweeted it out. So. Yeah, that that makes Which that makes, makes some sense. Smart they move. were they were lucky to get in a little bit because it, it, this is their second storm today. Uh, Silver Spring, heavy rain out to Bradley, uh, heavy rain. Rep McLean, heavy rain as well. Fairfax, heavy rain. Uh, Old Town, get ready for another batch of heavy rain. Let me zoom back out here. And, you know, this is a, still a pretty impressive line of storms. Again, from Baltimore back to Warrenton. This storm is kind of trying to catch up uh, with, with that uh, edge of the, the uh, line. So, you know, again... Take these seriously. This isn't, these aren't tornadic yet. We don't think they will become tornadic, but you know, you got 50, 60 mile hour winds. You got big trees in your neighborhood. You know how many big trees there are in Chevy Chase and Northwest DC and Bethesda. Uh, that could be a problem. And we've seen, uh, I believe, was it Fort Washington, uh, Chester, the tree fell in a house? Yeah, there was a, actually that happened in Manassas too. Uh, uh, I believe a mobile home was, was destroyed by a tree. And then Fort Washington, we had numerous trees down there, and I believe it, one did fall on a house. And uh, one a tree fell onto a, per, onto a car with a person inside of it in the Clinton area. Thankfully, Whoa. they uh, appear to not be hurt, which is great Whew. news. Yeah, that was earlier. Um, that was before this round. Right, before this round. So yeah, we got to believe some more trees are going to come down and some limbs. Look at the lightning. It's kind of caught up a little bit uh, in terms of uh, strikes now. And... So we still have these two warnings out. Uh, one, one goes to late 45, one goes until 9 o'clock. This one goes until the 9 o'clock. That's the, uh, the further south one. And I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit more. There's a little bit of hail, maybe north of Silver Spring on your way to Laurel. We do the, we do the weather spore in Manassas. Let's see what it's, uh, what it's showing. Okay, yep, heavy rain, yep. I'm going to move the radar to Manassas so we can take a look at what's going on there. Um, oh, they got heavy rain. Yeah, I don't see any hail, but I got heavy rain. That looks, uh, that's, uh, yeah, so that's, um, <laughs> that's where the weather explorer was. It eh, checks out. Yeah. Lightning, <laughs> heavy rain. Didn't see any hail. That's good. Um, so, Burke, you're about to get some heavy rain. It's already in Fairfax now. And, it's again, Fairfax, Prince George's County, and parts of uh, uh, Charles and city of, of Alexandria, this is the uh, warning for you. Uh, this is the uh, morning for you until 9 o'clock. Surprisingly, um, they have not extended any warnings here. I'm looking at this one here that covers D.C., Fairfax, Montgomery there. 845, that's just in, a, in about two minutes. Here. Right. Well, I think part of the problem is it isn't moving. Yeah. And I, I, think they, I think when they started to develop this line, they were moving 40, 50 miles an hour. Now, I don't think they're, they're moving. They're sort of training you know, almost northeast to southwest. Right. 
and, and that's a problem because then you end up with some flooding. Which, so that, that would probably take out the severe uh, weather threat. It does look like the winds have eased a little bit in the velocity. I was checking that out here. Okay. So maybe uh, they're below severe limits. Haven't seen any hail reports, despite what looked like some massive hail. I haven't seen any hail reports yet out of this. Oh, um, really? But I, I'm willing to bet there was some hail. Had to be. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, when you see that, that was pretty pronounced on the radar. Yeah. And, and, and it's, it, yeah, it had to be some. That can't all be, you know, clutter or, you know, that's, that's got to be yeah. hail. So, yeah, well, let's see what happens. Because if this doesn't move, if it kind of just stays, you know, like this, then we're kind of concerned about flooding. If and it doesn't move out and just sort of hangs around I-66 and D.C. and Bethesda, and it, you know, really hasn't even moved that much. It's still right through Baltimore. I mean, it hasn't moved. The line itself hasn't moved much. Um, so now I think we're, we may shift our concern to flash flooding. Yes. Um, as we go through the next hour or so uh, around town and around the uh, the, uh, the the beltway. Um, well, well, Topper, if I may, I uh, may interrupt here. Maybe I'll do a quick recap here and give you a minute to grab a drink of water here and um, okay. regroup for a second. If you guys want to come over to, yeah, go to the, the key, key, if possible. With CG-13? Yeah, I'm over here in CG-13. Or Perfect. Uh, Okay, she's going to bring up the key in a second. All right, thank you, Melissa, our director. Uh, so if you're joining us on this live stream, we want to recap. We have a severe thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock tonight. That covers uh, pretty much most of the metro now. But if you live west of I-81, uh, rather west of the Blue Ridge, you don't have to worry anymore. You're done with the severe weather. Cumberland, Martinsburg, Hagerstown, Winchester, Front Royal, over down towards Harrisonburg. Metro Washington, two warnings. One is uh, in a force until 845 should expire here in a minute. And then this one here is until nine o'clock. So let's go to the radar. You can see what Topper was talking about. See this line of thunderstorms stretching from DC north along 95 and then west along 66 all the way back to Warrington. You've had some downpours in the in Fauquier County and Prince William County, but not under any warnings right now. And then there's this warning here over DC that again should expire here in mere seconds. So we'll keep an eye on this covers um, uh, all of northwest and parts of northeast all the way over to the bending area. And then, uh, yep, there's the warning just got dropped. So it looks like it's been expired. And then Beltsville, Laurel, all the way down through uh, College Park, downpours, heavy rain, all this moving off to the east here into the Lanham area and then eventually towards Bowie here. But no warning right now, so that is great news. It's looking like the storm has weakened to below severe weather limits, which is quarter inch hail or 60 mile per hour winds or a tornado. We have none of those apparently in that storm. This storm still quite impressive here. It's headed towards uh, Alexandria, uh, 850, uh, Springfield, Franconia area, 846 on so the next minute or so, and uh, down through National Harbor about 854 if it makes it all the way over there. It does look like it's going to get over there. This part of Prince George's County here, uh, Clinton area down through uh, Indian Head, uh, all under the warning until 9 o'clock. Same story, Alexandria, southern part of Arlington here, basically south of I-66, so uh, south of the Roslyn area over towards um, uh, Alexandria, Potomac Yard, the western part of Alexandria towards Van Dorn Street, and then Fairfax City, Merrifield area as well, uh, Annandale. If you live in these areas down towards Lorton, you're under that warning again. That's until 9 o'clock with this entire line here. Just an impressive thunderstorm uh, moving across this region with downpours. And this is probably, at the very least, small hail south and west of 286 there and um, south and west of Fairfax and the George Mason campus there. And then and towards Annandale, looks like there may be a little bullseye there. And then perhaps some large hail as well into parts of Arlington and uh, over towards Georgetown in D.C. and perhaps some small hail as well towards uh, the Bull Run area. And uh, I mean, this is a big line of storms. There's that warning till nine o'clock. Again, it includes the city of Alexandria, Arlington, Falls, uh, rather, uh, yeah, Falls Church is included, Fairfax and down through the southern, the Alexandria section of Fairfax County there and down to the Lorton area just north of Dale City and then just east of Manassas. And this stretches all the way back into uh, Fauquier County south of west through the Haymarket area, not under the warning there, but just a, an amazing amount of lightning for this entire section here as the storm continues to move off to the east. It looks like it really does look like Topper. It's slowed down a ton yeah. as well. <clears throat> There's that video that I showed you earlier from uh, Evan, one of our reporters here at WUSA 9 from uh, his view, uh, just an impressive storm moving through uh, DC there and a quick look at the flash flood safety tips. I don't see any flood warnings, but 
Uh, again, I want to remind you, never drive into a flooded road. Doesn't matter how great your car is. You could be in a, in a Hummer. Doesn't matter. Do not drive into a flooded road. It just takes six inches of water to knock an adult off their feet as well. And just a foot of water to float most cars and most trucks can be done in two feet. So it just uh, want to remind you again, turn around. Don't drown when you drive, uh, when you get near flooded roads. Just it's not worth the risk stopper. That's it's just not worth it. It's not, you know, folks, you, know, you can't judge how deep it is and how fast it's moving. So that, right. that's the there, therein lies the problem. All right, so let's uh, kind of recap here. So we've got a trimmed severe thunderstorm watch either side of I-81 and west. It's done. It's still in effect for the metro till 10 o'clock, I think for good reason. So we've seen damaging winds. We've seen large hail. Those are the two threats that we've seen uh, time and time again. Uh, this now we've this is the severe thunderstorm warnings in the bright yellow. It's a little less than it was when we first joined you. It covered the entire metro and touched the entire beltway. Uh, so right now, Prince George's County, a little bit of uh, Charles County and Fairfax County in the district under uh, warnings. Here's the radar past couple hours. There's that one monster storm to Baltimore, but notice how it kind of just formed a line back 95, then curled sort of back now down 66. The lightning has waned a little bit. So I guess good news, Leesburg, uh, Frederick, certainly Winchester, Hagerstown. I think you're done with, uh, you, I think you're done with the severe weather. You may even be done with showers tonight. We'll see. This is the uh, last warning we have. So it's Charles, uh, city of Alexandria, Fairfax and, and Prince William County, Prince George's County, rather just a little tiny bit. I mean, just barely into Charles County there. And that goes until nine o'clock and we'll see if they extend this. I think, you know, Chester, you may be right. It may not have the winds 50 miles per hour or the hail inch or bigger to issue a warning. Yeah, doesn't mean it's not serious. Doesn't mean it can't flood. And so we'll watch this for some flash flooding or aerial flooding as we go through the next few hours. I will say this topper. We are getting numerous damage reports now out of Montgomery County. Um, yeah, Potomac so, area. Yeah, let me read read a couple of, you, of those quickly for you. OK, uh, we've got trees down um, Persimmon Tree Road. That's out here. Yeah, yep. yep, no surprise there yep. in Montgomery County. Uh, wires down 8,000 8, block of Maple Avenue in Chevy Chase. OK, 7,000 block right of in Wisconsin here. in Chevy Chase as well. Yeah, uh, and, and just, you know, right there in Montgomery County. So it's right in Montgomery County. Big, uh, big time problems there. So you may have to avoid Wisconsin Avenue. If you're driving out of Northwest DC mm -hmm. and then uh, we've here. got uh, a couple other reports from, from outside the area, but uh, wow. definitely, um, definitely uh, numerous reports coming out of Montgomery County right now. Yeah, well, I mean, no surprise as we watch the radar. I mean, it's, we're, we're really not surprised at all. So we still have some rain in, in College Park, but now it's light in Wheaton. So now if you're going out uh, Lay Hill Road past Wheaton, it's, it's you have rain, but it's, it's not going to cause any huge problems. Bethesda, you're almost done with the heavy rain as well. It's still heavy rain in Maryfield, out toward George Mason and Crystal Springs. It's slowly pushing off to the east and still extends out to Noakesville and Linton Hall and Manassas. Poor folks in Manassas cannot catch a break between the lightning and the hail and the um, heavy rains. OK, so how much heavy rain have we seen? So essentially in this blue color, it's an inch. In the darker blue, and this is just updated since I made this map, uh, it's more like a 2.2 uh, two inches. But essentially, you can see anywhere in the blue, it's at least an inch or more. But I think now down here toward Manassas Park, since it just updated three different contours, uh, that is probably closer to 1.8 or 2 inches of rain. So we'll see if this prompts any uh, flash flooding. All right, where is this going? Here's, here's Futurecast. And, you know, got to give it some credit, Chester. It did a pretty good job Yeah, tonight. it did. It, that, the, it, her, the herd was right on it. The herd was on it. The herd said, hey, we're going to have two rounds of, of um, storms. And we were like, hmm, all right. So here we go. This is nine o'clock. There's that big storm still moving out of Baltimore. And this is, I think, what's left of what we're seeing in the metro. And notice it hasn't moved much, you know. So we'll put it now into motion by 10 o'clock. Finally, the future cast brings it across 95 and weakens it a bit. So you don't see any, you don't see much red, a little bit of a fleck of red, but mainly just orange and yellow, which is still heavy, but not as severe. Temp's still in the 60s. We're not looking at any cool, crisp air coming in tonight right away. It will be more comfortable tomorrow. But for the time being, kind of a, a muggy night. By 1130, some showers, shades of green. That means light activity on the uh, legend. So, you know, just kind of nuisance showers, but the heavy activity well across the bay into the Delmarva and even across into southern New Jersey and out in the ocean. By midnight, maybe a straggler shower, but that's probably it. Uh, temperatures in the 70s. And I think what's going to happen is we'll have just enough clearing not a lot of wind behind this. If the winds pick up, it'll help us, but it, 
a little bit of clearing and all the rain we've had and it's kind of humid. Just some fog is possible uh, tonight. 2 a.m. Some breaks in the clouds now. Temperatures upper 60s in the Burbs, maybe 68 in Gaithersburg, 73 in D.C., about 70 in Bowie and 70 in Fredericksburg. So again, ah, Chester, look at this. So the watch has been trimmed now. Yep, they just trimmed it right as you were talking. So actually. now it's back to just Fairfax County, Prince William County East. No longer has Montgomery County in it. It does have the district in it. And this is something, by the way, they didn't used to do. This is kind of nice. In the old days, you had the watch, you had to live with it. Right. Uh, now they at least trim it, which is which is very very nice. So Culpeper, you're out. Orange, you're clear. Front Royal, Winchester, Martinsburg, you've been clear for quite some time. So what's left goes till 10 o'clock. Probably see this trim too a little bit. But damaging winds, large hail, boom, those are the uh, are, are the main uh, threats. And here's the bright yellow. That means that's a warning. So it has a little chunk of Fairfax County, has the district. It's a little tiny bit of Charles County and a good chunk of uh, Fairfax County. And that goes until uh, 10 o'clock uh, tonight. So here's a radar last couple hours. And wow, watch this just develop from Baltimore, stretching down 95 out toward 66. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. So this is our last warning goes till nine. And again, still has heavy rain. You still don't want to be on the road up toward Baltimore on 95 or the BW Park wave 97. If you're cutting up uh, toward Baltimore, a little bit of a hail possible here. We got a new warning, by the way. Oh, yeah, it just popped on. Yep, Prince George. Yes, it did. Look at that till 945. Charles Prince George. Fairfax, Charles. Prince George. Yep. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 945. There you go. Boy, wasn't that fortune? I was right down. There. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And I think the reason being is because of this hail. It's showing up a little bit of hail yeah. uh, west of 95. And also that may have a little bit of wind in it too, uh, looking at that configuration. So La Plata, get ready. Uh, you are under a brand new warning until 945. Uh, Still heavy rain, lightning in DC, uh, across uh, 50, and then stretching westward back either side of I-66. 66 has kind of been the bullseye uh, this evening. But good news, you know, Silver Spring, heavy rain gone. Uh, New Hampshire Avenue, just about clear of the heavy rain. Wheaton, you're done with the heavy rain. Uh, Rockville, you're done. Bethesda, you're done. Uh, American Legion Bridge, you're done. But Georgetown still has some heavy rain. Howard University has heavy rain. And College Park still has heavy rain. And there's still some big time rain out now, just essentially just south of I-66, Crystal Springs, Fairfax, and George Mason, Anne Arundel, and Merrifield. Even up toward Allen Crest, too. Lightning has waned a little bit, but uh, there's still enough lightning to take it seriously. You'll move further back. Manassas, heavy rain, Noakesville, and then back toward Warrington. This is another storm. It has some heavy rain in it as well. So this is the rainfall. And again, if it's blue, it's uh, over an inch. And I think in this dark blue area around Manassas, we're looking at two inches of, uh, of rain. So uh, everybody had about a quarter inch to half an inch, which, by the way, we needed badly. But I wasn't really panicking because we were only about, what, one to three inches behind, which can can be made up in an afternoon of severe thunderstorms. So some areas will actually be back to back to average, uh, if you will. Um, so there we go. So the good news is uh, heavy rain is beginning to move out of this area. Bad news is you've already had one two, almost three inches of rain by Braddock Road now. And here's future cast again. 10 o'clock has some pretty big storms still in southern Maryland. Uh, don't let your guard down. Charles County, uh, St. Mary's County, Calvert County. And then 1130 muggy, some light showers. And then by midnight, we're pretty much done with everything. Maybe a, a straggler shower. That's about it. And then some breaks in the clouds. And as I mentioned, we may see some fog develop uh, tonight. Uh, I hate forecasting fog. Uh, you got any thoughts on fog? I, yeah, I haven't given a second thought. To okay, be honest okay. With you. <laughs> okay, well, you know, so here's the watch. It's been trimmed. It no longer has Montgomery County in it. No longer has Loudoun County in it or uh, uh, Prince William uh, County, excuse me, Fair, Fauquier County. It does have Prince William County in it as well. So points east. Still under the watch, goes till 10 o'clock. Uh, it'll be trimmed as needed. Damaging winds, large hail are the main uh, threats there. Chester, anything you want to add? I may go back to the desk for just a second. Yeah, you do that. Uh, I'll take care of this. We've got, um, you know, we've got a couple warnings in place. We've been talking about them for the last several minutes, so we'll kind of recap of what's going on oh, here. Oh, look at that. See uh, the hail? Yeah, yeah that yeah. is, I mean, that is definitely, um, you know, it's almost like the oh, storms are building south as they get farther south they're getting stronger those storms and then to mm -hmm. the north it's just become more of a rain event there right uh, is what it seems to yeah, be these but, are yeah. getting more intense down here to Dale. Dale City you're about to get hammered with yeah. heavy rain maybe some hail probably a little gusty wind too oh definitely Lorton uh, yeah. Dale City Triangle area 
uh, it is going to be, uh, you're rocking and rolling, and, and not in yeah. a good way. So not that in, is, that's, not yeah, in a so good not, in a, not, in a, not in a good way, exactly. <laughs> not in a good way. So not we'll, in a good way, no. We'll switch over. Yeah, we can go ahead and take, uh, yeah, take over to the wall. Thank you, Melissa. And, yeah, we've got multiple severe thunderstorm warnings in, in the area. So let's uh, kind of recap what's going on here. Uh, I'm going to move this uh, track just a little bit. That's that northern storm there. So this storm here is now moving into the Mount Vernon area, that Alexandria section up towards uh, the Huntington area just south of the city of Alexandria. So the Alexandria section of Fairfax County and then over to already hard hit Fort Washington National Harbor area and further east towards Clinton and over to the Camp Springs area and further east there. That's where there's a warning until nine o'clock. So again, I'll get out the way and show you Clinton 906 Upper Marlboro, uh, probably about 908 and uh, Mount Calvert at 912 there. So uh, that is all moving to the east right now. Those may be a little fast just because earlier we had them tracked at uh, moving a little bit faster than what they appear to be. So I'm going to knock down that speed just a little bit on um, my next track here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the radar a little further to the south and track the southern part of this storm here. And this is the section that's in uh, right now in Lorton and Dale City. It's basically on your doorstep. So if you live in Lorton, Dale City, make sure anyone who's out, you know, if they're out in the patio, they tell them to come inside, you know, just uh, if just you know just in case this could be bringing 60 mile per hour winds uh, which would be damaging winds and the lightning ferocious dangerous as well and perhaps some large hail uh, with this as well so let me put the lightning back on there and track that part of the storm again this warning um, and again this warning is in effect until uh, 9 45 if I'm not mistaken yes and yes. this warning is the storm is getting into Lorton right now so Lorton take shelter um, and then looks like Halloween Point Estates Fenwick Indian Head that's over into Charles County uh, you're in for this storm around 916 and again try uh, the Dale City Triangle area that uh, that very busy corridor there south of Lorton along Route 1 and uh, Interstate 95 you're right here and look at this. I mean, that is an impressive amount of if it's not downpour activity, uh, downpours and hail happening uh, right there on Virginia 234 west of Dale City. Let me see if I can bring the radar in a little bit closer. Maybe we could do some uh, street level tracking because that is just an, an amazing in a bad way um, part of the storm there. So we'll put it in now here and if you live there, it looks like that says Spriggs Road uh, and Canova area 234 here. There's Dale City on the right side of your screen. Uh, Spriggs Road, Dale Boulevard. That is just uh, unbelievable downpour going there. Lots of lightning, usually a good indicator of some hail happening as well in these kinds of storms. Miniville west of you and Cardinal Drive, uh, Montclair area, that Montclair neighborhood and Garfield Estates. I would go ahead and just make sure that you stay sheltered for the next 20, 30 minutes or so. We go up to Lorton and uh, it's pretty much on, it's there. It's there now, and we are tracking that part of the storm in the Lorton area uh, along 95 and Woodbridge. So that Woodbridge area up to Lorton, just downpours and possible large hail and damaging winds. The wind's probably out at the leading edge of this storm, yeah. likely out in this area, Topper, yeah. as, uh, as they tend to, uh, oh. uh, you know, the, the gust front, if you will. And uh, now that we're past sunset, you probably can't see it, but we had some really impressive pictures uh, coming in earlier on social media of uh, some of the uh, the scud clouds and some of the gust gust front, uh, you know the um, it, it, not quite the mothership, but what, what am I? I'm losing the word here, Topper. But we're, we've got the shelf clouds shelf cl okay. that are coming into the area. So we've had some impressive pictures. Mount Vernon uh, again, anywhere up and down Route One from near Quantico all the way up to Lorton and out, up to the Mount Vernon area. Uh, just take shelter. Uh, you are all under this severe thunderstorm warning for possible 60 mile per hour winds uh, and quarter size hail uh, back up into D.C. It's just it's just downpours right now. I mean, of course, the Nats game is being delayed right now. Just look at that southeast, uh, just downpours down to bowling and you know, over into the uh, to the uh, Anacostia area up towards Benning, Minnesota Avenue. Just a big time uh, mess right now there. Uh, along southern and eastern avenues here and up towards uh, the Bladensburg area and uh, Hyattsville and then farther east towards Lanham and FedEx Field. Just uh, just a mess there. And then back here in Annandale, look at this, the downpours here in this area as well. 
that is just, uh, the lightning is just ferocious at this time, Topper. It's just impressive stuff. It, it is impressive. I get more and more worried as we watch it not really move much. Right. I mean, it's kind of shifted a little bit, but not, not a bunch. Um, uh, can you switch it over to uh, 17 for me real fast? So <clears throat> a couple things here. Uh, the severe thunderstorm watch has been trimmed, so it has DC, Fairfax, Prince William and points east goes till 10 o'clock. Yes, damaging winds, large hail are, are the main uh, threats. No, no doubt about that. So here's a the radar. There's our massive line, which is slowly inching its way east away from us, but still hammering Baltimore. It's now essentially on the east side of 95 up north and east of us and dropping just south of I-66 in the metro. Uh, there's uh, the uh, latest warning we have goes to 945. It does include Charles County as uh, Charles as uh, Chester mentioned, also Fairfax, Prince William and Prince uh, and Prince George's. And, and uh, if I may interrupt, I should have known this. It's actually for 70 mile per hour wind gusts with that storm. So possible up to 70 mile up per hour. 70. Wind gusts. Okay, so that's impressive. So we'll zoom in and you see this, this is hail more than likely. Uh, Chappelle, Ch Chapel, Chapel Acres around Silverbrook, uh, just to the uh, north and east of 123, not far from Lorton. Uh, that looks like hail to me, uh, not far from West Springfield. I had hail a little bit ago back down toward Hope Hill Avenue. That has now uh, not shown up on the radar anymore. And I, and I scan this and of course you know you know Murphy's Law Chester yeah. you scan it, it goes away of I had course. a fantastic hail core right here uh, of course and when you look at that when you scan the the vertical storm what you want to see you might see magenta up here the purple and there might be hail above right to the surface but when you see the whole column come down to the ground you're like aha it's hitting the ground it's becoming heavier than the updraft and really I had a great great hail core I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed but anyway <laughs> there you have it I did update this map for you as I thought um, if, you, if you see the blue here, any shade of blue is an inch or more. So a lot of areas have seen more than an inch of rain. Wow. And I zoomed in again, and my thought was down here toward Manassas, where the deep blue was, yes, you had essentially two inches of rain. So uh, right now, no flood warnings have come out, um, but we will keep an eye on it. So where does Futurecast take these storms? Still hammers uh, parts of southern uh, Maryland. Uh, maybe even as far to the north of Charles County and a little bit of Prince George's County into St. Mary's County by 10 o'clock and even one over toward Annapolis. So it breaks up the storms from Baltimore, pushes them across the bay, which seems reasonable. By 11 p.m., some garden variety showers, but all the severe weather is gone. And then by midnight, we have breaks in the clouds, temperatures in the 70s, still 76 here. So we're not looking at any precipitous drop of temperature uh, with this. We're just looking at Slowly but surely, we'll see a drop in humidity tomorrow. It'll be very, very warm tomorrow. Uh, we were 91 today, 92 tied the old market Dulles, but we may be 86, 87 tomorrow, but it'll be more comfortable. It'll be uh, a little more comfortable in terms of humidity. Great news. By, yeah, by 2.30 in the morning, well, some clouds, some breaks in the clouds, and I'm still kind of concerned about fog. I have no idea why I'm hung up on fog because I don't like fog, but there could be some fog tomorrow if the winds are light enough. So there is the latest uh, watch includes parts of the metro until 10 o'clock. Uh, Chester, you want to add anything? You want to wrap this up? I think, I think for the most part, um, they're moving away from the metro. Uh, we can stay on a little bit longer. I don't know how many, how many folks are on watching. Can you tell uh, Melissa or Nick? Okay, okay. Um, we can probably wrap this up. Chester, yeah. you want to throw in the last couple words here before we wrap it up? Yeah, we just got that one warning still. Hopefully this will be the last of the night. We'll see until 945 and that includes um, that's it right there. Parts of Prince George's, Charles Fairfax, Prince William, possible 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Okay, um, so we'll right keep here. an eye on that. Okay, so we'll play to get ready. Uh, put your, uh, you know, chairs inside or stack them next to the house. Stay away from the windows and Still some pretty good lightning too with this storm. I, again, I, I turn off your AC if you had it on because it can it can it, it can be a bad situation if it goes on and on and off and on and off. All right. Well, right now we will take a, we'll take a break. We'll come back if, if conditions warrant. We're going to have uh, updates for you tonight uh, at 11. Live updates for 11. If you can take pictures, either you know now or anytime when it's, we have storms with our app, you just hit near me. It'll send a picture. It's in the lower right portion of your app, your phone there, and it'll send pictures. Do it safely, but it'll send pictures to our newsroom. We'll put them on the air. Of course, take pictures of hail next to coins. Gives us some perspective, uh, but be safe uh, first and foremost. Uh, for meteorologist Chester Lampkin, I'm meteorologist Topper Shot. We'll see you at 11 o'clock, if not before.